going, seeing if he's going to go to college or grab a job afterwards. So I get it. I get why he yeah. needs to take the break. But you'll have to allow me to be a little bit selfish here because I want to see what Enhanced PV's cloud can do when he comes out to play. Yeah, and so Enhanced PV, of course, being from this region, uh, gets, some, gets some solid practice uh, against Wario. Probably has to play Matador pretty frequently. Mm -hmm. So should know this matchup pretty well. But I'm imagining Loaf, I mean, at this point, everyone knows the cloud matchup, right? Like, you have to oh, survive. Yeah. Like th these are two very common characters in the meta, and right here I think we are also seeing two completely different versions of Smash characters here. We have Loaf wants to go ahead and turn on the aggression, get these big combos and come back wins with that WAP. And on the other side, Enhance wants to keep you arm's length, wants to play neutral, knowing that if we do actually break it down to neutral, well, Sorties tend to win those. Yes, yeah, and Enhance PV is one of those people that will just wall you out, will just take their time, uh, you know, look for the openings, wait till you get sloppy, find their cross slash on ledge. Uh, and now, you know, even w even without the kill, still applying pressure here. Another grab following up. But, uh, man, Lova is just really doing a great job of slipping out of all this. So many ways to die here. It's kind of crazy because Enhance is trying to make Loaf uncomfortable in shield. Oh, as he can't recover on that spot. We Ooh. saw right there, like, when Enhance let that up smash rip, it's because he had grabbed Loaf a couple times to make him a little bit nervous and pop out of shield. But Loaf continues to be disciplined. He doesn't want to toss out any errant options, understanding that Cloud can just blow you up at 133 only with hitboxes, not with grabs. Yeah, and I mean, despite it looking like PV was pretty in control of that last stock, uh, ends up you know, being the first one to lose a stock instead. And now having to play around this bike, and that bike can really change a lot of your frame data with the, the way it delays your hitboxes, too. Up tilt, definitely not going to kill in that spot. And a great little poking forward air right there from Loaf. Also gets a grab off of the back air. Rare, rare that you're able to grab and punish a cloud back air. Does go for the neutral beat and gets smacked up for it, though. So now 74% and limit, and look at the defensive game plan from Loaf. It's like, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna be over here for 15 seconds. Catch you in a bit. Yep, yep, taking some time, let that waft charge. Cross Slash is going to miss. That gives Loaf an opportunity to get in and taking the half charge waft for the stock there. I am digging that option quite a bit. No need to go for the full charge when you can get the hardest punish necessary there. Yeah, that is something I think a, a lot of Warriors don't do that I think they should. It's like sometimes the half charge waft is, is on deck and ready to go. Well, it's just an aerial it? smash attack. Just toss it out. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, huge pressure back here into the forward shield to pressure the shield. Tried to ledge trump, but instead going to get punished. Hard for this one, too. Yeah. Lots of damage. Already 63 with a round of applause from Loaf at the end. Still able to break up the momentum with a grab. Has the ledge. Has cross slash on deck. And a slice right through the bike. Going way off stage. Two back airs. And then the limit. Klim has to get back to the ledge, too. Enhanced PV. Not out of this just yet. And I'm taking the opportunity to not go for the limit cross slash. And instead, to save it for the recovery just to get the back air. I was waiting for Enhanced on the side be ripped. But instead, he's like, yo. I need to mix this man up because Loaf has seen this before. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's the first thing you're thinking about. Cloud's coming at you off stage with limit ready. You're looking for that cross slash. So sometimes you got to just find something a little bit spicier. Uh, speaking of spicy, ooh, the parry. No hit confirmed on either side off of that. We are still playing neutral. PV, the one that went out, has the limit on deck. Looking for an opportunity. Cross slash could kill here. Goes to the forward tilt instead. Going way off stage. Can we get that ledge trap or that edge guard one more time? Let's see. Oh, the footstool is huge. Great get-up attack, though, to get out of disadvantage. And now we're back to center stage. Loaf yet again, a little bit of an air camp. And yeah, just let the cross slash rip. At that point, that limit was just about done. Just get some shield pressure going instead. Hopefully we get a poke in the near future. Neutral B grabs that off stage interaction now for Loaf. We have no. the air dodge. We have no time for the mm. double jump up B. Oh, it's so close, though, man. I, I just This is going to be a great set. I can already tell. Just from game one, I mean, both players definitely seem to know this matchup inside and out. One thing I did see, though, that might be a blind side, I'm sure Enhanced picked up on it as well, was that off that last cross slash, mm -hmm. uh, Loaf tried to grab out of that. Um, mm -hmm. That was facing the wrong direction, but even if you're facing the right direction, you just you just don't get to do you don't get to hit a button after cross slash at your shield. Yeah, it's unfortunately. It's just crazy safe. Yeah, that, that is just uh, you just buffer the upbeat if you're cloud and be like, hey, nice job trying to hit a button. Mines are better. Yeah, yeah, you buffer <laughs> the upbeat, or if you know they're going for something that slow that loses to an attack like a grab, um, you could also rip a forward tilt or an up smash that could kill at that percent um, if you know you're going to be attacking into a grab to begin with. So that that is a, it's one of those uh, it's one of those one time only. You get to use that one time, and then the other guy's like, ah, yes, I can't do that. Yeah, you don't about get it that. The rest of the step, but. You know, these 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 uh, high-level players, they catch on to these things. They keep that in the back pocket when they need it. It's almost as though they're relatively good at the game. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> like, I don't want to give them too much credit. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> I mean, who can really say how good a, a Smash player is, right? Like, that's, yeah, we, we can't compliment Smashers out here. <laughs> <laughs> Complimenting Smashers at the Smash tournament? Absolutely not.
Great forward air into the down tilt, so max damage and then trying to get full stage control is enhanced. But really the problem is, is that it feels as though Lope is a master at using Wario's wily movement options and aerial drift that just slide out of Cloud's advantage. This, <laughs> this character is so fast in the air for the big man. <laughs> nah, exactly. He, he, he looks like he has a 4-4-40 despite that bulk. Yeah. Yeah, this dude definitely going oh, like top 10 of the draft. Speaking of, I mean, floating back and forth to find that, that ledge trap. Back out of the air, Nair to send back out. Uh, he still has a jump, but the yeah, forward tilt is going to seal that stock. Loaf taking the first stock and taking the lead here. Yeah, the lingering hitbox of that forward tilt means that it doesn't matter how good your drift is, if he manages to connect, even if it's a weak hit, it is enough to intercept Cloud's recovery. Yeah, and that is kind of rough for Cloud. You pretty much can never come in at the ledge high uh, in this matchup, but also you coming in low means you're playing that ledge trap game against Wario, which is not great. Please drop shield, says enhanced PV, but Loaf yet again continues to hold that shield discipline. Shield is looking a little bit low, but not quite in a position where you can shield poke. As we oh. saw right there, look at the look hard that. punish. Enhanced definitely trying to get any of these hitboxes out to poke low shield, but not going to work out. Just like Loaf unable to land back to center stage, has to go low, and the neutral air from Ooh. the depths. I'm digging that option from enhanced PV. I thought they were both dead. I thought they were both dead. You underestimated Limit Cloud Upbeat. I did. I did. I really did. I, I underestimated Nair. I thought Nair was just going to still be in end lag. <laughs> but <laughs> PV hit the blast zone, but instead uh, able to even up the stocks. And PV desperately trying to find another hit, but it's going to be the turnaround chomp, giving Loaf the opening, giving Loaf control of this ledge here. Cloud going to try to just cheat past. Does able to get over by going high, and then a huge parry for the cross slash to break up that momentum. But Waff is now fully charged. Is it just me, or have we not seen Enhance get a lot of like short hop grabs? It feels like Enhance has really abandoned the grab game after that stock one of game one, and Loeb taking full advantage to just simplify his defensive options. Yeah, and I kind of don't blame Enhance, because when Loaf is playing this game of constantly strobing shield and like threatening to do anything else, has all that aerial momentum and those big punishes potential on grab, and your cloud, you're not getting a lot on grab anyways. Yeah, like I, I see why you wouldn't want to go for it. Speaking of grabs, getting that neutral beat, command grab in that position. Unable to get too much out of it, though, and Loaf yet again pinned to the corner here. He might have Waff, but Enhance is playing full-on anti-Wario Nair. Two in a row parries off yes. of that option. Yep, and really leaning into the cross slash to break up. The oh, should have gotten three oh. in a row parries. No. Oh, no, he got the turnaround. Okay. The buffer turnaround on the Nair not working out for Loaf. Oh, I was going to say that was the setup. Oh, gonna miss the fully charged Waff that is no longer available. Does still have a full stock to play with though, so not the end of the world. PV trying to change that though. Sharking the platform with the back airs, not able to use limit before it expires though. Man, we're both players losing huge resources, but it does not matter for Enhanced. The solid up smash to shark the platform. Using a little bit of a down tilt just to get away from that bike setup. And then just the double side beats like you thought I would. You thought I wasn't going to hit this button again. It's too good to not hit multiple times in a row. Oh, man. And this is the worst feeling in the world when you're playing against Wario, is having to deal with this, where he's just throwing a bike at you <laughs> and eating stage space. And what do you do about it? Where do you go? <laughs> Every time you leave, the bike chases you. It's just such an effective wall, because you know Enhanced wants to jump in at Loaf, because Loaf can't really do anything about a perfectly spaced back air. But, I mean, if he's got that vehicle, yeah. then he can actually block off. Just oh, and he gets the no! air dodge read! Enhanced PV with a little bit of an X factor right there. Doesn't matter if Wario lands that Watt. Enhanced has an instant kill option of his own. Charges the limit with that last up air, lands on the platform, and puts the finishing touch on that game to even up the set. Whoo! Talk about explosive options. Typically when we say that, we're talking about Wario, but uh, enhancing a little bit something, something to show too. Yeah, it's kind of wild how finishing touch is almost like it's waft. It's it's just waft. <laughs> it's waft yeah, on exactly. cloud. Yeah. It's just waft. It's you can't combo into it too frequently, but uh, yeah, realistically, thank God it's can. not as good as waft, right? Like, <laughs> but enhance kind of makes it look that good, though. True. Th true, there, was, true. there was actually a spot in game one where he got like a missed tech that he could have gone for a two. Wait a minute, did he just up air out of disadvantage? I despise I when clouds yes. do that. Oh. oh. No. That is a multi-hit move that trades with Cloud up B every single time. It's only disjointed out in front. If you can get behind Cloud and use your aerial drift, it's just an easy trip to the blast zone. Uh-huh. I remember that flow chart or that, uh, that that graphic from back in the Smash 4 days of like, you need to be right here to punish Cloud up B. Well, he uh, got right there. Yes, he did. <laughs> All right, but PB now has the ledge here. Oh, no, the fair actually just breaking at the momentum. Loaf skating by. Taking another hit. Oh, you're probably dead here, right? No way. The back air pressure, but you're still stuck on the ledge. Going back down the ledge. He's stalling. He's stalling the limit out. And then just uses double jump and gets to the plat. And Enhanced doesn't have an option. Has to let the neutral be ripped. Perfect timing to get rid of something there. 
That bike really went. <laughs> yeah, it's just gone. <laughs> she gone. Woo. Forward tilt not going to connect. Up tilt definitely not going to kill here, and Loke continues to be masterful defensively against Enhanced. Yeah, PV is having to be like so defensive there. Forward tilt going to clean up the stock. I mean, you're seeing PV like Enhanced do like a lot of like jumping around and just doing nothing, just waiting for the wrong move because like Loke has so much movement that you you have to wait for something to middle. It feels like. Oh, actually no in a tech way. situation, but does manage to get out of it with only a grab. What are we doing with the bike? We're still playing around that, just daring Loaf to pick it up. The bike is still on the ledge. Did he get the shield poke One with it more? and then Loaf actually shield the SDI'd back or something? I think. It looked like he hit him just for one hitbox, but didn't get the linking hitbox he needed to continue the combo. Yeah, Cross Slash does have those weird hitboxes like that in a couple of situations. Oh, no. There to fair. To up tilt to walk, it. baby. It doesn't matter if it's not true. All Loaf needs to do is read your drift and your defensive options, and he can keep that combo going. Yeah, oh, but PV firing right back, catching the roll with the up smash. It's coming down to the last stock here. Whoever can take this one takes the lead in the set. So far, it has been Loaf trying to land at, like, roll distance and dare enhance to toss out, like, maxed range options on his shields so that he can retreat away. And it's been working out a little bit, but it does feel as though more often than not, Enhance has started to just trade more effectively with Wario in these exact positions where he's standing at that distance where max range back here will just barely hit. Yeah, yeah, and now limit on line two, so Loaf going to have to play even more safe. For that. Air. Didn't actually force the tech. I really thought we were going to get like a tech into another uh, tech chase situation with the down the platform. There goes limit. Cross slash though. Staying right. grounded, I dig that option too. Yeah, very smart, very smart. There's the grab. Okay, we are seeing the grab start to come back online. Forward tilt again on shield, and then oh. he just lets the up smash rip. Oh. That's the enhance you know and love, just tapping that shield, saying, I know that you want to take just a barest step forward. Like you, you saw the tap of the forward tilt, and then he just lands, waits for a split second, gives Loaf the ability to drop shield and walk forward. Loaf didn't walk, he dashed and got caught with that up smash. And the, the psychological damage inflicted there, because that Loaf has been doing this a lot this set, standing just inside of enhanced range and strobe and shield. Shield off, shield, yep. off, shield off, looking for a parry and just saying, like, you can't safely grab me because I might just hit you. But also, if you attack, you, you're probably getting parried. Uh, and now that enhanced has just straight up called that out and killed him for it, that, that feels a lot less good to go for from here out. Game four underway here at Hans PV with a one game lead, but it's going to be low fitting off to a lead in this game. Uh, 70 solid percent and back to neutral, threatening to prevent the limit from being charged. Getting just a couple of solid hits right there up till. Oh, but no, you know that neutral B was a either an up B or a jump side B option right there. So a little bit of a tech flub from Enhance, but not letting that disrupt his momentum here. Not at all. Still has a firm control of the stage right now. I mean, just low force into the corner. Going to eat the cross slash. There it is again, the grab on the cross slash on shield. I'm not sure Loaf knows that you can't do that. Perhaps not, yeah. I mean, Enhanced PV has been doing a great job of getting that punish, too. So it's at this point, when you're down a game, you need to understand exactly what your opponent's going for, and you need to get those adaptations ASAP. Right, and remember we were talking about, like, you get it, you get to punish that once per set, and the opponent knows it's coming for the rest of the game and knows you can't grab there. Uh, enhanced PV is two wins. So that one that one time could be enough to seal the set very <laughs> if true, we very see it again. True. Using that forward air into a neutral air, and then oh, the forward wow. tilt even punishing Loaf trying to hit an button to get out of disadvantage. Like this is enhanced PB is kind of just hitting a lot of hitboxes right now. This is this is buttons cloud. This is me saying my frame data good, my range is good. What you got? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know we talk a lot about enhanced PB being a very patient, very defensive player, but it's not like he doesn't know how to push advantage. I think he jumped into that. So yeah, we have to use the limit, and it does manage to land back. Ooh. Still, low, great job with the back air, just recognizing that I can't let this pick get back to center stage. Yeah, no, just cannot let it happen. Of course, unfortunately, after the stock is taken, uh, you kind of get center stage when you're coming off the angel Ooh. platform. Oh my goodness, catches the neutral, get up with a charged up smash. You are very dead. That is one of those where it's like, you knew what get up option he was going to do before he did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the full charge on that up smash. Like, listen, I'm not calling you out. I'm calling out what you did a minute and a half ago. I know what's going to happen. Yeah, he was reading that one right off the schedule for the event. Mm -hmm. He's pondering <laughs> his orb before the bracket. Yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> Game four, up smash at ledge. 
<laughs> he knows. Does manage to land the Ooh. falling up there into the Watt. So no lead is safe in this matchup. No. 4.45, the time of Watt. So we need to go ahead and play solid neutral for two more minutes. Will Lope be a little bit more defensive here? Doesn't look like it right now as we are turning things up instead. Yeah, I think at this point, like, you just kind of have to push your, your advantage here, push the psychological pressure. Like, waiting for a loft is just, it's just so dangerous when you got to wait two full minutes, it feels like, to, to get that online. I don't know. I think you just try to get a, a kill the old-fashioned way. Though Enhance is also playing a little bit defensively here, so Loaf is kind of matching his pace. So like, if, if you're not going to toss out a bunch of hitboxes, then I might as well just use my aerial mobility to time things out. Yeah. Like 45 mi seconds went by, and we saw maybe 30% on each character. Yeah. Man, Loaf is actually really consistently getting in. It's only like stray hits, not going for the combo. Cross Slash going to catch him this time, though. Limits on deck. This could be the one that takes the stock, but... Waft for waft. Do it. Oh, no. Oh. He actually A-landed right there. If Loaf hadn't A-landed right there, it would have been a tech chase situation, and you know Enhance is going for the down beam. Oh, sent the blade beam, too. Still has the ledge. But Loaf able to slip out. Oh, no. That's the weakest walk. Kill? Okay, no, Ooh. definitely not in that position. I don't even think that was half walk. That was like a third. Yeah, that was. No, nah, maybe about. Maybe it was half by then. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. tv has got the ledge. You can't get can't. that punish. No, 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 no. Loaf had an opportunity to get something going right there, but Forward. dash attack might have done it instead. Speaking of dash attacks, oh. Enhance lets it rip in a last stock, last hit situation. Enhance oh. PV walking away with the 3-1 win. That is kind of tragic, too. Like, that last punish, like, right here, like, Forward Tilt might have just taken it. Like, Forward Tilt might have been enough, even. But instead, I mean, Forward Smash just takes too, way, way, way too long. PV gets one more chance to play the game. Forces him to the platform, back airs the shield, whiffs forward tilt, but just sends another attack right away. And it, you remember I was saying that, like, that going for that grab off of the cross slash? Mm -hmm. Was what? that the same thing? It wasn't exactly oh, the same okay. thing because it wasn't off the cross slash, but PV hit back air mm -hmm. on shield, whiffed the forward tilt, and Loaf went in for the grab, and that was when... That was when the stock got taken. Trying to grab cloud aerials. When will we learn? Yeah, 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 yeah. You cannot. <laughs> All right. You, you cannot. So, unfortunately, I'm going to actually hop off right here. I was a covering for your actual co-caster, Ariel from House of Cards. Is Let's actually go. actually going to be stepping back up. Excuse me, Ace of Cards. My bad, my bad on that one. I don't. I always mix up House of 3000 and Ace of Cards right there. So, Ariel, <laughs> going to hop on. 